One of my old favorite decks is back. Dracula Dump has been modernized and is doing quite well for me. We were playing at high ranks with this around top 10 infinite. And yeah, it did solid. I'll go over my stats, uh, inclusions and all that stuff. Uh, hard replacements. Um, but quickly, my personal stats. You can see the win rate's actually not too high. I think I, I was streaming a lot. And at the end, I just started losing, 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 losing. Um, but uh it did pretty good and it felt fresh. It's a fun, refreshing deck in this current meta where you're seeing maybe a lot of Arashem, a lot of Loki, a lot of the same old, same old. So uh, revitalizing an old classic, this felt pretty good. And I do see there are a lot of cards here that people may not have, like Hydra Bob and Makari. Um, and we can also look at uh, global stats here. If I'm just looking at Dracula decks in infinite, we could see this build running Cosmo and Jeff over the Makari and Cole. And it seems to be doing quite a bit better for global stats. I think Dara was playing my deck and really tanked the stats. Unfortunately, I tried both of these builds and this one felt way better to me. But Dara... Oof, yeah, Dara was, Dara was throwing. But yeah, I'm gonna go over uh, my cards, my thoughts, and uh, stuff like that. Maybe not an S tier deck, but yeah, I was playing it in High Infinite and it was a good time. So if you do like the Dracula Dump playstyle, this might be enjoyable. We are running Hydra Bob, uh, which is kind of the main reason why we're playing this deck in the first place. He's a 1 4. He's not great. Uh, one of the worst cards. Please don't get Hydra Bob for this. If you happen to accidentally get Bob, like this is a good way to find use for him i guess the snapping uh it's gonna be you know uh it's something you have to consider you have to have a different play style uh if you have hydra bob on the last turn if you snap hydra bob is going to move and then marta is gonna move and, and try and make you lose the game um but i think gwenpool is another reason why we're playing this deck because you want to play gwenpool juice up your small things in your hand uh dump those out of course it could hit your mysterio and then you get you know you can have two sixes and a 210 on the board all for just two energy uh it can hit your mockingbird which is sometimes free it can hit your infina or your dracula and dracula now retains his power and just adds the power of the card in his hand uh so he can get pretty big and if your gwen hits your dracula it's not too bad i'll go over some replacements a more budget version uh shortly here but generally, you're trying to keep your hand size low. Makari is here because Makari will fly out of your hand, which is great if you're Gwen hit Makari, but also great on the last turn. If you have a couple cards, a Dracula, and you have a Makari in your hand, uh, Makari will jump out, and then Dracula will hopefully hit your Infina, or maybe like a juiced up Sasquatch or something like that. Cole is here because uh, I just felt like I needed more power in some lanes. So uh, maybe you play Squirrel Girl on turn two or whatever, and then on turn three, your Mockingbird costs three. You could play the Mockingbird on turn four. You can call Obsidian, play that, and then you play your Dracula in another lane, and hopefully that'll end up hitting your infinite or maybe it just ends up hitting a sasquatch and you can also do this thing where people will see the dracula and assume you're going to win the dracula lane because they're like oh he's gonna hit infinite but actually your dracula hits i don't know like a squirrel girl or probably not i don't know it had, hits a bob whatever it hits something small or maybe just hits nothing uh, but your opponent is is scared to invest resources in that lane you end up winning that lane anyways uh so let's go for some replacements here i mean the frugal dump um, I'm gonna assume people don't have Makari that much. We can uh, we can drop Makari. The main reason for Makari is uh, yeah she jumps out of your hand. But uh, let's take Makari out and let's put Jeff in instead. Uh, Jeff is great if your Gwen ends up hitting it, or just a great card to play on turn two. Let's take Bob out because I think most people don't have Bob, and you shouldn't get Bob. Uh, and instead, I'm going to put zero in because you just want a strong one drop, which is why we kind of have Martyr here. Cole is a series five, so we could take Cole out. We could put like a Cosmo in. Cosmo is disruptive, but can also, you know, protect your, your little things or your, your big things. Sasquatch, probably another card a lot of people don't have. It is series five. So we could take Sasquatch out and we can put in like Destroyer, maybe? Destroyer might be good. Or even a Red Skull? A Red Skull might be good. If you don't have Mockingbird, I guess you could do like a Red Skull. I feel like um, Mockingbird is one of the best cards in the game, so I think a lot of people have picked her up. But you could drop Mockingbird for the Red Skull. Um, Red Skull's big, and then on the final turn, you can do like zero Red Skull, or your Dracula can discard the Red Skull. 
but generally you don't actually want to play the red skull with his ongoing effect because if they play four cards you're losing eight power and this is a five six which isn't really worth it but being able to last turn do zero red skull like a wasp uh when you have infinite in hand this could really pop off i haven't tried this build but uh, if you're looking for budget replacements, there are some options. I haven't really like done that in a video like this. I wonder I wonder if that's useful. Let me know if you like this uh, segment to uh, fr fr frugalify the, <laughs> the deck. Um, yeah, and then if you wanted uh, the other version, I don't know if Butt made it or Woody made it, but it was minus Makari and then minus Cole. And instead there was a Jeff. So this build does better uh, per global stats. I think even something like a Nico might be good. If you don't have Bob, you can put Nico, which might be awkward sometimes, so who knows? But uh, if you get like destroy and draw, you don't necessarily want to draw. Even something like a like a Titania might be okay if you don't have Bob, but you want to play like this build. But then your Titania kind of needs to come down on the last turn. Then you got to worry about priority and whatnot. Even a Blade might be okay, so you can kind of target your discard or you could put a rocket raccoon or whatever but yeah hope you guys enjoy this deck uh again fun and refreshing at least for me and i found very good success with it in high ranks so i hope you do as well uh good luck on ladder and stay hydrated hey i like this and fuzzy thighs yeah exactly What if they're gifting me? Real Mysterio. Think about it. Wow. Holy shit. I think I wait for left to go off. I could call right. What a weird game of Marvel Snap. Dracula made is solid? Oh, wait. I could have given him that then. But it's actually going to just be a 1-5 if I were to give it to him. Five cards in my hand. God, I hate it. Drac goes mid. I'm playing two cards. Do I even want to play this? Hold on. I'm playing Cole? Oh, I do want to play it. Oh, I could play him and snap him mid, dude. Should I snap him mid right now? It's actually like a good bomb play. If I play M Mockingbird right now... Oh, he might go right. Oh, fuck. Can I undo my snap? I gotta play this right then. I'm playing three cards. I could play this and Martyr. Play Bob right. Take the 50-50. I guess I could have done that, but I want him to go mid, you see? It's gonna be hard for them to win right. Yo, this is good. Bo Meeps, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. Welcome. Hey, this is kind of juicy. See, if Call Obsidian was a Cosmo instead, this would feel worse. I like your live streams. Thank you. I appreciate it. I 100% win. Uh, I'm only adding 17 left. They could add a lot left. We should win mid, right? I think we're good. I tolerate your live streams. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. I tolerate your moderation. Did they have Killmonger? I didn't even think about that. It doesn't matter where the real one is, but I'm curious. Ah, it was right. They were probably thinking for a while if they played Surfer mid, they'd win. Victory. 
Wait, this allows us to call left. I'm gonna chill though. Hmm. Bob Snap. Yo, Tabletop, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate it. Good job on the, the hype train. I could snap the Bob away. That's pretty good. Oh, that's, yeah, that's awkward. How good is this meta? So many good, interesting decks. Unless you're just playing Arshem Loki. Which I guess kind of can feel like a different deck every time. Am I playing Dracula Dump again? Dracula Dump got me to top 20, man. You're gonna dock me laugh? He's moving Bob. Oh, little shit! Do I just hope I win this lane? He docks me left, maybe? He has Cannonball as well. They're gonna dock me left, but I don't think this wins it. They go dock ball. I'll stay one more turn, but... I believe I'm fucked. Maybe I call left. He runs Chi as well, yeah. In what world did he not draw the two cards that win it for him? Not this world? Yeah, I should leave. There would have stayed. Probably true. I'm the only one you could beat. Did you have the cards that won? Yeah? Damn. This is fine, Lo. He had Chi and Ball. Yeah, that was saying he has Chi and Ball. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh, see a bird? I like this. Don't you dare draw... Fucking hell. I'm not drawing Drac Infinite. I think I've done it like once in like 20 games. Even though I've only played uh, 15 games. Holy shit. Pretty sure he's gonna. He moves not, right? Oh, you think he has chi? I mean, it probably wins right. I don't know if it wins anything else. If he goes chi left, I think I'm fucked. And the Martyr's just gonna move. Ah, uh, a bit awkward, this one. Hmm. Martyr probably goes right. I don't know, man. Martyr's just gonna end up right. It doesn't matter where I play Martyr. Snap, Bob left beats Chi. Imagine. They either Chi left or they go Nocturne left. They can Nocturne left, Hawk mid. But if they're not turning left and not uh, committing anymore there... Hmm... Oh, oh... Holy shit! Wait, does that... That doesn't activate. Iron Eye, thank you for 16 months! Hello! So happy! Oh my god, imagine it was a Chi. It wouldn't have mattered. How could we ever lose? There is here. Taking aim. It looks like I care about my community, or at least want to make it interesting. Hey, it's true. Oh, 
I don't think I like Pixie. A cheap Infinite would go crazy, though. Alright, I'm doing it. I could also kick this man. But his honor veal still works, actually. If you think about it. One twenty infinite. The problem is I still have to float, right? Hey, that's a hit. I'm gonna kick that shark. No! I have the smallest mid. Whatever. Wait, I don't even- I can't even play a coal there. Oh, fucking shit. Namor solo's right. Drac is gonna be the shittiest little turd. I might need more mid. No, fuck it. I could play these my entire hand next turn, and then uh, Drac hits the 120 infinite. I'm actually gonna do the uh, the classic. Should I go big mid? Maybe that's enough. Could I have a good yoink? Wait, Marta goes left unless I play this left. Alright, so I'm going for a bait on the Drac. They're like not going to contest Drac. Actually, wait, no, this is better. Squirrel fires and this eats. This One more power. Okay, maybe it worked. Looking good, looking, looking good. Wow, they, uh... They fucked it, huh? Five head, man. Abandon the Drac lane. It works every time. Victory. Bro is pumping with the dump. So now it's a uh, hawk list. Um, if I play this, then I can squatch on three. Yo, Anon, thank you for the gift. I need to move that tech slightly to the left. Why isn't it centered? Oh no, I can't have this on. Flutter? Fuck me, man. Next turn. No. Oh, I thought it was a goblin. Let's think about it. He has cannonball prob. Maybe not. Does he got me here? I don't even know if I can afford the Gwen as a thing. Might do this into float. Into infinite bird. I kind of like that. I might do this left into float. It's a little less predictable. Unless he, of course, gobs me, then I'll regret everything. Okay, we'll skip the song. We had more than three complaints. Oh god, not that one. I think I win. This is a clean strat. His ox not that big, man. Hello! Hello! Okay, he wants some. What if I just don't play mid? I feel like he's gonna ball a different lane, and then it goes mid and I win mid. Also, Makari goes mid? Wait, that's actually so good. Yo, this was clean. That Makari top deck was actually gonna, like, win us the game, I think. What do we want though? What do we want from idols? We'll do um Beachland Ballroom. That's a uh, palatable, I think, for the masses. We could do um Gift Horse. 
No, maybe not. Okay, we'll do gift tours. A new one. If I do this, I could squatch. Do you like when people do naughty ball stuff? On my own terms, if I expect it, I'm okay with the old ball. Oh, they want it to die. Fuck, man. I can't really play this call right now. What? Like, last last game was totally fine. Cannonball wouldn't have mattered. Play Yao Sobi. Yo, yo, was so, yo, was so beat. Who's this? Oh, wait. I have a song from them, like. All right, I'll put them on the queue. I'll put them in the middle of the idols tracks. I'm playing a big card. Four, five, six, four, five, six. Do I want Pryo? I actually don't, maybe. Um, I would like them to take priority. Holy shit. I can't play a uh, call unless I top deck a one, which is a 75% chance. I could also just float into infinite wasp. Oh shit. Nah. This is like just as much power. Maybe. Do you think it's a Galactus? I think it actually might be Galactus mid, so I can Wasp mid to mitigate. This wins, and then this just hits that. I'm adding nine, so I'm adding a good amount. Also, I think I win right. I think I win tiebreaker. I don't need to win Nexus to win mid right with this play. That's pretty satisfying. Free. Victory. Damn, new bosses too? Show move deck. I might switch to the move deck. Okay. A zoo deck. Martyr costs. I mean, not martyr. Mockingbird costs less. Should I play this? Hmm. I'm gonna do it. Is he playing bounce? You got this dex? I don't believe. I mean, I do. Make up your minds? Maybe I should have. Oh, fuck. I might have chi or something. Something cheeky. I might play this mid. I can't play these mid. Alright, I need a clog right as well. Good thing I didn't play there. This is a bounce for sure. Gwen goods? Wait, I could Gwen left, but then Martyr's gonna move right is the problem. But I think kinda no matter what Martyr moves right. It's fine. Sleepily Focus, thank you for the tier one, and Rudek, thank you for the prime. Did those not go off? Fuck, man. If I play Mysterio, Squatch costs three, but then I can't play Drac. Just Squatch. If we just Squatch right, Drac left. Just Squatch left, Drac right. Maybe that's the play. Drac right, Mysterio. Martyr's gonna move right. 
right, it'll still be three power. All right, fuck it. They have chi. They might have chi. I feel like I'm about to get fucked up. That's a big demon, man. All systems go. Oh my god. This could win it. Do you think they chi left? Do I snap back? They're rank two, dude. What are they doing with Luke? Do it. Don't do it. Losing eight would be traumatizing, I think. Makari has to go left or mid. Wait. Victory. If it moved, we didn't lose. We beat Tiebreaker. If Makari went win mid, we also won. And then if Makari went right. Martyr wouldn't be able to go right. Do the points matter differently if I beat the rank 2 player versus uh, rank 20? 